Good morning everybody. Silas back again today. The wind is finally gone. As you can see up there in the sky. The sun's out. The skies are perfectly clear. I mean there's a few clouds off in the distance but that's about it. Just totally different from yesterday. There's not even a slight breeze out today. So, But it is 50 degrees cooler than yesterday so that's kind of a bummer. I wish it was the same temperature but with this weather but it's December so this is the weather it's supposed to be like actually and that 70 75 degrees is kind of a fluke but I'm definitely glad that all that wind is gone I'm out here at my place kind of looking around this morning and I really don't see that much damage out here but I have a lot of trees uh, off to my west and that's where the wind was coming from so those trees took most of the force of the storm and I did lose one roof on that building over there I lost part of that roof but I have a guy coming to fix that later today so not all is lost I'm not sure what all happened out at the farm after I left out there. We get back out there, we're probably gonna have to do some tree work and move some trees, because there was trees falling right and left when I was out there yesterday. And that's why we left. If you didn't watch that one, you gotta watch that one. There was crazy stuff happening yesterday. But we're gonna head back out there today. I'm gonna unload that old truck off my trailer now, get back out there, and we're gonna work on it some more and try to get as much done today as we can. I was hoping to be done tomorrow, but because I had to cut yesterday short, it's probably gonna be Monday now before I actually get this one done. So we'll see what happens, but let's go. That is such a good looking truck. I mean, it's got some condition issues. It's pretty rough. That cab's kind of crinkled, got a little bit of rust in it, but it's just all original and it's all there except for just a few dash parts in the seat. The bottom half of the seat anyway. The bottom half of the seat was actually there, but it had been laying in the dirt for so long that it was rusted to nothing, so it went away. And then the radiator's gone, but the engine's still in it, carburetor's still on it, tailgate's still on it. That's kind of rare, and the tailgate's actually in good condition. I don't know if you can see it. Now you can kind of see it there. I'm headed back out here and there's a deer standing in the middle of the road just staring at me. Playing chicken. Come on girl, you gonna move? I've already got a broken grill. I don't need to break it any worse. Thank you. Well, that's not a grill, that's a boy. He got little tiny antlers on him so I couldn't see him. I made it back out here. There's a bunch of tree limbs down. Scattered around everywhere but doesn't look too terrible. I parked the loader out in the open when we left, that way nothing would fall on it. Getting it pretty cleaned up. I've got just a little bit of scrap laying down here that we'll gather up. Then there's a couple frames out back. And there's just a little bit of junk over there by those buildings. A little bit of junk up there by those buildings and then the barn's full of stuff. So, shouldn't take too much longer to get this done. Hopefully today we can get all the stuff back here in the trees done. That way all that's left to do the next time is up around the barn.
son's driving the loader. He's been working on cleaning that stuff up with Jason. All the little stuff that's scattered around, and I've been dragging stuff out of the trees in the skids here, so. Working pretty good, but we're about done with little stuff. There's a little bit more. And then we gotta drag that car and that truck and a couple tractors out. And then we got some more little stuff after that that we can get to. Figured I'll take you on a quick tour and show you our progress we've made. My knees are cold, and from sitting in that thing for the last three hours, they're starting to lock up on me, so <laughs> I need a break anyway and walk around. We got this pile here we gotta clean up next. This here, rear end, is out of a 65 Chevy truck. And it could be a locker, and it could not. The code that's on it is the same for the posi as it is for the regular, but it's 373 gear. So it's a 12 volt rear end, 65 to 69 it'll fit, but the code says it's 465. So we're gonna save that rear end. And then I got this old boat trailer and a couple more homemade trailers over there. All this goes. And then I need to call them. I can't remember what over here goes. I know the exercise equipment goes, but I'm not sure if the homemade deer feeders go. And I'm not sure if this yellow trailer goes. And we haven't done anything up there yet. And then over here, this is what I'm gonna do next. We got this piece of iron down here. It looks like a front axle out of a tractor or something. A couple little pieces down in here. Just odds and ends scrap right in this area. None of the windmill pieces go. And then over here, I gotta switch back to the forks here in a minute, get this tractor out of the way. And then there's this big pile of pipe. I'm not sure what else is back here. There's some miscellaneous iron there. Looks like a bucket or something back here that we can drag out. But this area through here is just about done. Got this little funky trailer here. I don't know if we're saving that or not. We might be saving that. This is all just trash here. Getting back here was a fun, unique challenge. But there was a bunch of stuff down here, so I just had to clean the path as best I could and hook onto it and drag it out. But yeah, we're gonna get these both out of here today. I do wish that this truck was more complete than what it is. It's kind of a bummer that it's so stripped out, but somebody might still want it. It is a pickup, we'll see. Yeah, we'll just drag those out that direction. I gotta pull a couple little trees out behind that car. I'll do that here in just a second. My GoPro is just about dead, so I had to put it on the charger, so I may not be able to film pulling some of the small stuff out, but I'll be sure to film pulling the cars out. But Sean and Jason are over here now doing the last little bit of cleanup. There's two more pieces of farm equipment back here that I couldn't quite get to with the skids here until we cleaned it up a little bit. Remnants of an old wagon. There's another old wagon. Probably a good wagon when they parked it there. You can see where the wood just rotted and it collapsed right where it was sitting. It's gonna stay here. There's too much wood on that. I can't do anything with it. But we're gonna grab this bucket out of here. And this old plow, if it'll cooperate. There's a few good pieces like that piece over there. We'll save that. But check this out. See if you can guess what these are. If you think you know what those are, let me know in the comments. Any guess? Okay, time's up. What those are is coal. Big old blocks of coal. For back in the day when you had to actually heat your house with coal and there was a chute at the bottom of your house a lot of times that ran right down to a coal furnace. And you could go up to that chute and you would just shovel your coal right into the house. I never seen blocks that big before. That's kind of crazy. Usually it's more like this size here so you can scoop it with a shovel. So that's pretty neat. I got the one tractor out, and now I'm gonna get this tractor out. Take it out back, that way it's easier to load later. Easy peasy. At this angle, these tractors are easy to pick up. Next up on the list, drag these two out. The truck, we can just wrap a chain around the rear end probably. The car has a trailer hitch sticking out the back luckily, so it shouldn't be too bad to get out. Put it in 
neutral, Bubba. Watch that tree.
off all this pipe. It's really growing to that tree. Some of that's not coming out of there. done back here we got all that pipe out I couldn't believe how much pipe there was back there just we kept going down and down and down into the dirt there was probably a three to four tons of pipe right there it's a real thick walled pipe about eight foot long sticks there's two more pieces of iron back there we'll have to drag out the chain tomorrow this fuel tank's supposed to go but it's full of diesel fuel still we tested it out and it's still full so it's gonna have to stay here they'll have to do something else with that I've still got this car back here, but I'm just gonna leave it back here for now. I'll take it up front later. I'm gonna haul the truck home today. There was one more piece back here that we found. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it out now. It's another one of those tractor rings that make really good burn pits. I already took two of them home. So I figured I'd take a third one home, weld them all together, and then I'll have a really tall burn pit, and that makes it a little bit safer use that out of my place all right I am loaded up leaving a little bit early today I've got a haircut tonight and if I miss my appointment I won't be able to get another one until probably mid-January so I don't want to wait that long to get another haircut this truck's ready to go got a bunch of stuff from out back on the trees stacked in it just random old chicken coop stuff and a couple tractor fenders and an old Buick fender random odds and stuff that I thought was neat. Lit it all it up. And then in the back of my truck I got this old chair. That's called a pie weave or pie crust weave or something like that. But it's missing one of the bolts. Like that side there has that bolt in it. The other side's gone. That's all that's wrong with that chair but it still has the armrest on it and everything. That's a really cool chair and I'm going to keep that for my personal self. I'll just put a new bolt in it. Those bolts aren't too hard to come by. Then I'll have a really cool chair. Sean's hooking up to his trailer. It's got a bunch of those green bins on it that we can strap down. That iron box is full and it's going to be a heavy one. Unfortunately, they called me today. Price does drop immediately tomorrow. So I didn't have a whole lot of warning there. And then they said it's going to drop another $15 January 1st. So not looking very good for prices for the new year. But oh well, I got to get the job out here done. So it is what it is. Got a little bit of junk stacked over here. There's the frame that that rear end came out of over there. I've got that rear end there. That pipe, I may take it home, I may not. It just depends on where I have room for it. If I have room in a load of scrap, it goes in the scrap. If I have room to take it home, it'll go home. And I've got some other odds and ends over there. Skyler may come out tomorrow if he does. I'll load that lawnmower up on him. I've got those two truck frames. So, got quite a bit left out here yet scrap wise than everything in the barn we haven't even started going through the barn yet 
So we'll fill at least one more dumpster and then probably one trailer load of scrap go in. And I've got both of the Oldsmobiles and two tractors to haul home. So that'll be four trips there. And then I've got probably one more trip of keeper stuff. So that's about five trips of stuff going home at this location. And then we're gonna move on to the next one. Not sure what I'll do with this truck yet. The hood is here, I got the hood for it, but I don't have the other fender and I don't have the other door. If I could find a fender and door that matched this truck, I'd keep it all together. The truck's super rusty, not, not worth fixing, but at the same time, it would make really cool yard art or something like that for somebody to put up for a display piece because it is such a good color. But without that fender and door, that kind of really hurts it. So may wind up just selling the hood. The hood is good. It's got a good grill in it. Usually I get the big trucks, the big ton trucks and ton and a half trucks. They've got a different grill in them. It's just the, the pickups, the small ones have that grill. So that's kind of a somewhat valuable piece. They do repop those, but still it's worth a little bit. It's got one in them on the side. So, I mean, I could part it out. I thought about just slicing this whole side of the truck off. That's probably what I'll do honestly on this one is just cut the whole side of the truck off and then go ahead and sell the hood and sell the grill. But I'm not sure yet. I'll take it back to the ranch and stick it with the other old trucks and cars for now and I'll decide later. Here's a few of the keeper pieces that I'm gonna take home. These here are just so neat, so old. This one here especially, this one's really old. I can imagine a team of mules pulling this out in the field. Then the old Pride of the Farm plus 20. That one goes. That there, the bottom half of that it's just fiberglass. Somebody's already replaced the bottom half. So it's just the top half that I want. And here's a few of these here. I got another one of these back there in the trees. A couple of these burn ring wheels. Just odds and ends stuff. I'm pretty sure I can stack it all on one load and get it home. There's Sean's load. Todd's here dropping off my next box. So that's good. I was a little bit worried. He said he was gonna try to pick this box up today. So I was worried that meant that he wasn't gonna make it, but he made it. So that'll be perfect. Work on, Ooh, that was loud. We'll work on, that was loud too. We'll work on filling this one tomorrow. And if I don't get it done tomorrow, then I'll finish it on Monday. And we made it back to this truck's final resting place. It'll join the rest of these trucks until I have time to cut it up and it becomes wall art. I'm getting pretty full up out here. There's the old stub nose. I'm trying to figure out where Sean and them put those. There they are. He just slid them off his trailer while I was unloading the truck. I'm getting quite a few of these grain bins out here. Hopefully I can find a market for them. But you don't see them anymore and they're getting pretty, pretty old. Most of them have been scrapped, so if I can find a market for them, they ought to sell pretty good. Well, that's no good. Guy called me and said, I think your roof blew off. I'm like, do what? I haven't been over here because I've been busy working on that farm cleanup. So I ran over here and looked real quick. And sure enough, this entire building right here has no tin on top anymore. It's just the wood. All the tin is curled up in a ball on the back half of the building. So, got two options. We can either spend twenty dollars to $25,000 to re-roof this thing. Or I can come in here and clean all this stuff out and bulldoze it. I got a bunch of stuff in here. I'm not sure where I'll put it all. So honestly, I'll probably just come in here and just drag everything out and crush it, most likely. I hate to do that. This is all stuff I saved. This is where I used to work all the time. I used to rebuild bicycles in here. And then I had eBay store in here. And did a lot of work out of this building. A lot of memories in here. But memories don't pay the bills and they don't pay for it very expensive roof so i got that whole thing to decide on now decisions decisions but that's my problem not your guys's i have to think about it and figure out what i'm going to do looks like we lost a bunch of fence too there's another big section up front down this section's down let's drive around see if anything else is down on the other side i'm scared to look at the other side there's a piece there flapping yeah there's a piece down there's a piece down there's a piece down. There's a whole section down. Yeah, this fence is toast. I'm gonna have to shut down absolutely everything. So that's one expensive storm. And it stinks because we can't get insurance. They won't insure a junkyard. Uh, 
surprisingly, this side of the fence, everything looks like it's still up. Uh, it looks like one piece flapping down here. But everything else is still up, so that's kind of shocking. Oh no, there's a section down there down completely. Well, bummer. Well, it's the next day. I never did finish this vlog yesterday. I just went home and didn't do anything. I didn't edit a video or nothing. I just wasn't in the mood for it. Came back out here today and climbed up on the roof and this is what I'm up against. It destroyed this roof. It even ripped off the concrete caps. Mangled them up in there. So yeah, this roof and this building goes all the way back. So to replace this tin, you have to replace all the tin. And whoever made this building wasn't the smartest cookie. They uh, built that back half on at some point in time and it slopes this direction towards me. And then this building slopes the opposite direction. So the water always pooled up in the middle. And so there was always a leak there in the middle where the water would just sit. But now there's really no good way of fixing this roof. I mean, it's, there's not even a way of patching it or covering it or nothing. So it's just done. I'm gonna have to clean everything out of here because now the next time it rains with all these big ripped holes in here, it's just gonna dump water in there like never before. If we start getting snow and that sort of stuff, it's gonna be an absolute nightmare. So I've gotta get rid of everything in there. I don't have time to be picky, so I'll probably save my favorite things and I'll probably just start pitching all sorts of antiques in the scrap. I've tried for years and years and years and years to find somebody that would just come in and buy a great big truck and trailer load. I mean, I could fill a 40 foot box trailer with antiques and stuff. And I told him I'd sell it for a fraction of what it's worth, but nobody's ever been interested. So I'm gonna sell it for a fraction of what it's worth in the scrap. But the good news is I got my new overalls. I already got them dirty climbing up here. My other overalls were starting to fall apart. So I went ahead and bought a new pair Took me forever to find a pair of my size online. Everybody was out of stock, but I finally found a place on eBay that had two pairs left. So I grabbed one of those. Makes it a lot nicer out here. This is a big old building and this roof is starting to leak all the way down. It actually goes beyond this tall building. There's more shorter sections down there. There's this big section here. There's a lot of buildings here and they're all packed full of vintage car parts and antiques. I don't know what to do with it all. I don't have time to do eBay anymore can't find anybody else to do it so I may consider having an auction next spring or I may just pitch it in the scrap I haven't decided which I'm going to do yet my dad and I are coming out here to get some wood and before I get that and then I want to go ahead and close this vlog out after that but I wanted to show you guys this truck my dad just bought it's super rusty the whole roof rotted out on it I think it's a 56 Ford this is just a cool looking truck that signage on those doors is really neat. And that, honestly, that probably won't be for sale. That's something there that he and I both really like. So this truck isn't really fixable. So he'll probably keep one of the doors and I'll keep the other one. And we'll cut the nose off of it for a wall hanger and sell that. Scrap the rest of it. But this has been sitting out by the highway longer than I've been alive. This has been a landmark here in Hutchinson for a long time. Good news is we found a bunch of lumber in here. It's used lumber, but for the price of lumber these days, we'll take used lumber. We'll use it and the boards are long enough to fix our fence. So that saved us a chunk of money today. But I'm gonna go ahead and head out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm gonna go back to the farm cleanup again next week and start recording more and cleaning that up. Hopefully we can get this location done by middle of the week and then move on to the next one. If you guys enjoyed it, leave me a thumbs up. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.